Hi. Now, in this question, we've got to find the set of values of x for which 3 divided by x plus 3 is greater than x minus 4 divided by x. And there's generally two ways that we go about solving questions like this. And that is a graphical method where we draw the graph of, say, y equals 3 over x plus 3 in this case, and y equals x minus 4 over x, superimpose those two graphs on top of one another, and then compare the relationship between them. The other way is to remove these two fractions, the x plus 3 and the x. And that particular method is handled in this video that you could see if you click on this link here. The purpose of this video is take you through the work solution when we look at the graphical method. So if you haven't done this already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. You can have a go, come back when ready, and either check you're working with mine, or you can fast forward to the end of the video and just check the final solution. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Now, one of the first things I will say, though, before we start, is that I'm often asked, why can't we just multiply both sides by x and x plus 3 and just simply get 3x is greater than x minus 4 times x plus 3? Well, you can't do that purely because we don't know whether we'll be multiplying by a negative quantity because x can vary, in which case the inequality would need to be reversed. So we're going to use the graphical method then to do this. And to do the graphical method, we've got to look at sketching the graph of, say, y, equal, y equals 3 over x plus 3, and then y equals x minus 4 over x. Now, to sketch y equals 3 over x plus 3, what I do is I just essentially break this down to using transformations of graphs, something like this. I look at the graph of f of x equals 1 over x, our standard reciprocal graph. And then looking at f of x plus 3, I would have 1 over x plus 3. And this would translate the graph 3 units to the left. So you can see we get something like this, with this vertical asymptote now at minus 3. And then I'd want to multiply this by 3, 3 lots of f of x plus 3, and it would give us the graph that we would want. Multiplying by the 3 stretches this graph parallel to the y-axis by a scale factor of 3, keeping the x-axis invariant. So there's our graph, basically. So if I was to sketch that, OK, we'll have our axes, and then it's going to look something like this. Next, I would want to go on to sketching the graph of y equals x minus 4 over x. Let's just put it up here, y equals x minus 4 over x. And to sketch this graph, I would break this down to dividing each of the terms on the top by the x. So I get x over x, which is 1, and then minus 4 over x. And I feel it's easy to sketch it from here, because again, we just need to use transformations of graphs. If we take g of x as equaling 1 over x, we've got our basic reciprocal graph here. Then I multiply it by 4 to create 4 over x. And this transformation represents a stretch parallel to the y-axis, x-axis invariant. So it's just going to pull this graph out a little more. And then minus 4g of x gives us minus 4 over x. And the minus is a reflection in the x-axis. So just simply reflect that in the x-axis, and this is what you get. And then adding 1 means that we create the equation 1 minus 4 over x, and adding 1 just gives us a translation upwards of one unit. And notice the asymptote here, the horizontal asymptote y equals 1. So if we sketch this on here, then we're going to get something like this. OK, so uh, let's just remove that. Now when it comes to sketching these two graphs then, all we've got to look at is where the red graph is greater than the blue graph. So in other words, what values of x is the red graph 
above the blue graph. And I can see that the points of interest that are where the red graph is above the blue graph is this stretch here. Okay. In other words, going from x equals minus 3 up to this point here. So this point is of interest to us, that point A. I need to get that corresponding x value here, okay, for it. So we know that x will be between minus 3 and whatever this value is. I also notice that the red graph is above the blue graph over this stretch here going from 0 to whatever this point here is. So this point is also of interest to us. We'll call it B. And we're trying to get that value of x there. So let's just have a look and see how we get those values for A and B. So if we just say for A and B, all right, all we do is we equate these two equations together. So we've got 3 divided by x plus 3 equals x minus 4 divided by x. And now we can treat it as a simple equation as opposed to the inequality. So we can get rid of the x and the x plus 3 just by multiplying both sides by x and x plus 3. And if we do that, we now have 3x equals x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 3. And therefore, if we start to expand out our brackets, we get x squared, and then we've got 3x minus 4x, which is minus x, and then minus 4 multiplied by plus 3, which is minus 12. We've got a quadratic here, so let us rearrange it by subtracting the 3x from both sides. So we get x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals 0. Factorizing this gives us two brackets, and we're going to have an x and an x, and a minus 6 and a plus 2. And if we solve this, we get that x would equal 6 and x would equal minus 2. And these become our critical values, our CVs if you like. And that would be x equals 6 or x equals minus 2. And these correspond quite clearly to our points A and B. You can see that this point here is the minus 2. And the value of x below B here is 6. So in answer to our question, we know that if we're to solve this equation, then if, let's just recap, if 3 over x plus 3 is to be greater than x minus 4 divided by x, then I can see that x has to be between minus 3 and minus 2, because that's where the red graph is above the blue graph. So we've got minus 3, x, and the 2, that minus 2 there. x is between minus 3 and minus 2. Or we've seen that the red graph is above the blue graph. It's greater than it. When x is greater than the 0 here, and less than 6. It's in between those values. So x is in between then 0 and 6. And there you have our graphical way of solving this inequality. So don't forget, if you want to look at the alternative approach where we re remove the x plus 3 and the x, then you should be able to click on this link up here and it will take you back to that video.